Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on volume of prisms. Remember, a prism is a three-dimensional shape that has two congruent parallel bases. And so the volume of a prism is the area of that base times the height of the prism. V equals capital B for area of the base times lowercase h, the height. And you can see with our rectangular prisms, we have the base times the height, and our triangular prism, the triangular base times the height of the prism. So now we're going to find the volume of each figure. In our first figure here, we have the rectangular base that is 8 by 16, and so is that rectangular base, and these are connected then by a height of 25. So our formula is volume equals the area of the base, capital B, times height, so volume is going to equal our base is a rectangle. The way we find that area is length times width and then the height of the prism. So now we can substitute in volume is going to equal 8 times 16 times the height of the prism, which is 25. And when I multiply these three numbers together, the product is 3,200 centimeters. And with volume, our units are going to be cubed. What about our triangular prism? Well, we have the triangular base here and the matching parallel congruent base back here. And these are connected by the height here of 3. So volume is still going to equal the area of the base times the height. The difference here is how we find the area of the base. It's a triangle, so it's 1 half the length of the base times the length of the height, then times the height of the prism. So volume is going to equal 1 half, the length of the base is 2, the length of the height is 5, and the height of the prism is 3. So my area of the triangle, 1 half times 2 times 5 is 5, still times that 3, which is the height of the prism. And so my final volume is going to be 15 inches cubed. Cake batter is poured into a pan that is a rectangular prism with an 8 inch square base. If the cake batter occupies 192 cubic inches, what will be the height of the batter in the pan? Well, our volume formula is the area of the base times the height. And let's look at what we're given here first. We're given the volume is 192 cubic inches. And then typically when we find volume, it's the area of the base times the height. Do we know the area of the base yet? Well, not quite, but we do know it's a square base. How do we find the area of a square? Well, we take the side and we square it. Well, the side is 8, we square that, so B is going to be 64 inches squared. So we have the volume of 192 inches cubed, we have the area of the base being 64 inches squared, and we're actually looking for the height. So now we can substitute in 192 for our volume. We can substitute in 64 for the area of the base and we're looking for the height. So if we divide by 64 on both sides, the 64's cancel out, and 192 divided by 64 gets me an answer of 3 inches for that height. Back in Lesson 12.3, we found the area of composite figures. Now how does this work when we look to find the volume of a composite figure? Well, pretty much the same. We want to find the volume of the top prism and add it to the volume of the bottom prism. Well, our top prism is a triangular prism, and so volume is still going to equal the area of the base times the height. Now, the base of our triangular prism is here, and that looks to be a height of 9 and a base length of 9. The 
height of the prism coming back here looks to be 12. And so as we make our substitutions in, volume is going to be the area of the base, which is, once again, 1 half base times height for a triangle times the height of the prism. So volume is going to equal 1 half. Length of the base is 9. Height of the triangular is 9. And the height of the prism is 12. Well, 1 half times 9 times 9 is 40 and a half times 12 results us in a volume of 486 meters cubed for that triangular prism. What about our bottom shape? What about B? Well, volume still equals the area of the base times the height. So volume is going to be my base here, though, is a square. And we could use length times width or side squared times the height. So volume is going to be 9 times 9 for the area of that square base times the 12, which is the height of that rectangular prism. And 9 times 9 times 12 results in 972 meters cubed. And now we just finish the problem by adding our 486 with our 972, which is a sum of 1,458 meters cubed. And that is it for this lesson on volume of prisms. Good luck.